Well, today I found a nice lot of Nintendo and Super Nintendo games. I found an Elite controller for 20 bucks, and oh my goodness, so much Star Wars stuff at this estate sale. Now this was one of those dumb luck happened to be in the area. I happened to run across a sign saying, hey, estate sale this way. I had some time before work and oh my goodness, I'm glad I checked it out. Look at all this cool Star Wars stuff. Now, unfortunately, most of it was priced like eBay buy it now prices, right? So pass on just about everything. But I did see this Titanfall Xbox controller. They wanted a hundred bucks for it though. I was like, well, if they have that, maybe they have other video game stuff too, but still cool to see. Um, you know, I'm one of the, I was one of the first people here. So this is just awesome to look at. Very neat stuff. Very, very well, very well kept, <laughs> if you will. So looking down in another room, hey, we find he has one of those retro duo systems and some Nintendo and Super Nintendo games. Check it out. So we got Zelda 2, five bucks. Eh, I'll just place that right there for now. Super Jeopardy, don't need it. Tetris, nah. Little Mermaid? Yeah, sure, why not? I'll do, oop, hold on. Little Mermaid, fun game too. And Super Mario Brothers, I'll leave that for someone else. Donkey Kong Classics for five bucks though, I'll take that. And Legend of Zelda, perfect, five dollars. All right, Super Nintendo games. We have Super Mario World, always. Yeah, I'll take that for five bucks. Zelda for five, Super R-Type for five, Mario 3, and I don't need Top Gun. All right, and I'll leave the Retro Duo system for someone else. I don't I don't need one of those. Got a Wii for 20 bucks? Eh, maybe, we'll see. Uh, just take a quick browse on the uh, electronics counter here. We got Wii Sports for three, uh, maybe, but hey, we got Rebel Strike. Oh, some Wii game. Ugh. Well, I'll take those two. I don't know about that so much. But we got Mario World. Yep. 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 Ooh, yep. Yep. Oh my god. Yep. And yep. And yep. And yep. And, eh, why not? Take another quick check here. We got a Tower of blank DVDs for a dollar. I'll leave that for someone else too. Got a little trinkets around here. Always cool to see. Always cool to see. All right. Whenever I'm at a state sale, one of the first things they do is go to the kitchen. Well, why the kitchen? Well, why not? Got a toaster for 40. I don't know about that. It's a deep fryer. Oh, pots and pans and I know it's a little snowing outside a little bit. It's all right though. Got ceramic bowls, ceramic plates. This person did not have children. <laughs> you ain't rocking the ceramic plates if you, if you if you have kids, that's for sure. Now up in the bedroom here, checking out some of his clothes. Now he's not my size, but he almost is. Uh, everything's like Excel and all that. But here's what I picked up so far. I did grab that uh, lunchbox. No thermos, but I'll show you what was inside here in a bit. They had a stack of Xbox games. And this right here, an Elite controller for 20 bucks. Man, oh, come on now. And I've also picked up this Halo controller, 10 bucks. I mean, hey, you know, you could always use a second controller. Um, there's a little land speeder there, grab that too. There's also a Warthog toy. Well, you got the uh, Donkey Kong Jenga. Uh, believe it or not, I actually did not pick that up. I'll leave that for someone else. Marx Brothers, classic movies. And a ton of DVDs, ton of Blu-rays. I'm always looking out for 3D Blu-rays for my uh, PlayStation VR, because it does 3D Blu-rays. And I'm gonna look through here Nice little assortment too. There's like some sci-fi. There's like some Disney movies in here. Some cool stuff, you know. Um, I'm not a big Blu-ray DVD collector. I don't. I don't really watch. I don't really watch movies. I can use that time to play video games. But still cool to see, just in case there is anything. And I did find one thing later. I found a Despicable Me. He had on 3D Blu-ray, so I did pick that up for a few bucks. But oh, look at this Star Blazers, right on. All right, so here's my pickups. There's the Warthog, because well, why not? Got the Land Speeder. Um, here's the stacks of Xbox 360 games mixed in with the other uh, GameCube and Wii games that you saw earlier. I also did pick up that Wii that you saw a while back. It was 20 bucks. I can always use an extra Wii. If someone needs, like, you know, my mom or something like that. Some games there. Duckman. Now, if you don't know nothing about no Duckman, look up Duckman. Great, great show. Super underrated. Uh, here's that lunchbox. No thermos inside, but there are some little Star Wars trinkets and you know, Legos, you know, little, this little cool thing. 
Yeah, <laughs> sure. I'll use it for something. I don't know what, but I'll use it for something anyway. Yeah, I'm picking up a couple of Blu-rays here. And here, this is the Elite controller for the Xbox. 20 bucks. That was what was inside. The Halo controller. Well, you know, well, hey, you know what? Maybe they just switched them. Maybe they swapped them. That wouldn't wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, right? All right, so I'm gonna open up this guy, and there you. Oh no, wait, wait. There, hold on, and da oh, failed. That's a day one controller, I suppose, which is cool. But glass is half full. I'm happy with what I got. I was hoping for the elite controller, but uh, can't win them all. But I t totally went on on this. Um, I paid about 200-ish for everything, and happy with it all, and thank you for watching. And this is just the beginning of the yard sale season here in Yakima, so more shopping coming soon. Take care, we'll see ya.